Hello, Beret Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Beret Hills, and welcome to another piece of tea of the day. Girl, guess what? OnlyFans is the new normal. Everyone is opening an OnlyFans. Should I open an OnlyFans at this point? Like, I don't get it. Well, I get it because the amount of money that you can win, it's a lot. But it's like, girl, we have a new housewife joining the real house, uh, joining OnlyFans. And yes, you hear it. And we need to talk about it. But before we get into it, do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you want to support it, now you can do it through the thank button right here. Hit the notification bell and let's talk about this mess. Hey, yo, Mio. No. My friend, my soulmate, my sister. I am so glad that Juan Dixon is not here right now. Erica, I don't have to make you look bad. You can do that on your own. <laughs> better? It's bitch better? I'm shaking. I'm physically shaking. Girl, like, I was thinking, you know, during that intro, and I was like, I mean, honestly, OnlyFans is a new normal. I think... I think the magic about OnlyFans is basically that there is kind of like a market for absolutely anyone, you know? And um, a lot of people think that OnlyFans, it's only porn, and it is not. You know, actually, porn is, is, is such a small part of OnlyFans because OnlyFans, what's in initially created as a way to connect with your fans, you know, kind of like a membership here on YouTube, right? With the difference that OnlyFans was like more open and they were like, well, here you can do whatever you want, whatever you want to post, you know, I, I, I leave that open to you, you know, you can do whatever you want. And then people start realizing like, oh, maybe I can take a, a picture, you know, without a shirt. Oh, maybe I take a picture on my... Um, a bathing suit, you know, and like, and they start going and going until they realize, damn, I can do a full on porn here and <laughs> start making a lot of money. But every, a lot of people actually have OnlyFans and a lot of celebrities actually are starting to open OnlyFans because it's showing to be very successful. Okay. Uh, from the Real Housewife, I mean, we have Sonia Morgan, I think she was one of the first ones to open her own OnlyFans, you know, uh, where she uh, put pictures of herself like in lingerie, you know, and being sexy and all of that. Nothing like naked or anything, just her being, you know, sexual, you know, and, and all of that, but nothing to be like a shame, right? Which honestly... Bring me to the difference. Like, what's what's the difference between, for example, people who do Playboy or those or models who literally post on on bathing suit or lingerie every single day? You know, like there is no difference, right? And I think the beauty of OnlyFans is like everything that there is a niche, there is a market for everyone. If you are skinny, if you are overweight, if you are plus size, or if you are super skinny, or if you like feet, or if you like. I don't know, I don't know, weird stuff, weird fetishes, or, you know, we have people like Nico Caro Avocado, which is a, a YouTuber, and he literally is going around, like, having sex while eating food. I know, it's weird, but, like, you know, like, there, it's so open to everything that you can basically do whatever you want, and people have access without being ashamed to those kind of things. But you can go easy, like, again, Sonia Morgan, we have Larsa Pippen making $10,000, you know, on OnlyFans for, again, being super sexual and they just put pictures on uh, bathing suits. So, like, whatever. We heard about, you know, uh, Denise Richards and Charlie Sheen's older daughter, Sammy, joining OnlyFans the other day, and there was like a whole scandal around that. I did that video, I think it was yesterday, right? If you haven't watched it, go and watch it after this. Well, now we have a new housewife or ex-housewife joining OnlyFans, and we are talking about none other than Miss Denise Richards, okay? She, I don't know if this is a move to support her daughter, you know, I don't know if she's kind of like, let's see what this shit is about. But she's officially joining OnlyFans. 
and with a very sexy picture of herself on Instagram, which is literally showing one of her nipples, right? She posts and says, ready? Here we go. Hashtag OnlyFans, link in bio. I think what she's trying to show, especially as women, as a woman, you know, is that uh, people need to embrace their sexuality. You know, women should be able to embrace their sexuality and not be called a whore or a prostitute or like all of those horrible names, right? Uh, p women have been fighting so long, for example, for, you know, being able to show their nipples while men can show them, you know, like all the time and run without a shirt all the time for women it's like oh my god no it's like such a taboo let oh my god no that's a horrible thing oh my god like save yourself for the privacy of your bedroom and it's like what like are, are they being real what are they talking about but people still have that conception and even though it has been a little bit more open it's still not only it still not only need to be understood by many people, but it needs to be embraced by many women, you know, because many women, especially from older generations, you know, uh, they are still have in their minds those taboos. You know, there still are like they grow up with being afraid of showing their body that they are afraid of doing it. You know, that's why not everyone goes to like... Um, a nudist uh, beach, you know, on, on any of those things. Maybe if you're in Europe, it's a whole other deal. In Europe, no one really gives a fuck about being naked, men or women, you know? So, but over here in America, they're still trying of being like, oh my God. And don't let me even talk about Latin America because over there, it's completely taboo. You know, it's like, it's to another level. But America is a little bit more advanced, but still has a long way to go. <clears throat> um, before getting there. Honestly, I have to applaud Denise Richards. I don't think she's going to take it seriously. I honestly think she's just doing it to support her daughter and as a way to show the world this is not such a bad thing. This is not porn, okay? Like, my daughter is not here jumping on dildos in front of a bed, you know? Like, that's not what she's trying to do. She's just going to post... She's just going to embrace her sexuality. You know, she's go just going to be showing uh, or, or doing what she has, which is basically what any other model in the world is doing. OK, and it's so hypocritical for so many people to call her out on this. Um, yeah, so I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait and see what Denise is going to be doing in this OnlyFans. Good for her. Good for supporting her daughter. That's my opinion. But of course, this is an open channel and I always really want to read all your opinions or what you think on all of this, okay? So make sure to leave your comments down here. You know that I do not delete comments. I leave everything that you want to say. So leave it right there. Like always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.